Hi and welcome, I'm Impact Frames and this video is about my two new characters Dr. Claudia and Dr. Joe which are meant to be used with Med Alpaca and Med Alpaca is a model trained on Llama using a data set of medical information like I have the Chuck Doctor with 200,000 questions paired with answers and also have a stack exchange for medical academia, biology, fitness, health and bioinformatics it also has the wiki doctor information and Anki flashcards, which I guess are from medical students. So these are just AI characters. As a disclaimer, they are not by any means or form real doctors. If you have any illness, you should go to a real human doctor. They are just meant to be used just to find more information about a particular illness. If you are a medical student and you want to try this, or if you want to find more information about that illness, like you will do with uh, searching Google. But by no any means, shape or form, you should take this advice as something accurate because uh, in first place the AI cannot see you, cannot touch you, so you cannot take this as a real medical examination, okay? Well, that out of the way, I will display how to use the by a made-up interview with a doctor made in BART, which also is an AI, it's not real, and I'm gonna make these questions to my AI and see how it answered, okay? So in here, we start with the greeting from Dr. Joe. Hello you, it's good to see you. Please come in and take a seat. How are you feeling today? And I came and said, I have fever for a few days. Oh dear, it looks like you're suffering from a fever. Do you have any other symptoms? Yeah, I have cold, sore throat and a runny nose. It sounds like you have the flu. I recommend that you rest, stay hydrated and take over the counter pain relievers as needed. Most people recover from the flu within a week or two. However, some people are at higher risk for complications, including young children, older adults and anyone with a weakened immune system or certain underlying medical conditions. If you fall into one of these categories or if your symptoms become severe or persistent, I recommend that you visit your local urgent care centre or emergency room. Thank you, doctor. Of course, I hope you feel better soon. Okay, so that was an interview with Dr. Joe and I'm gonna load Claudia. So I went back into Google Bar and I asked for a made up case to ask the doctor and I came up with a stung by a bee, so. Hello you, it's good to see you. Please come in and take a seat. How are you feeling today? I was stung by a bee. Oh no, bee stings can be dangerous. Do you know if the bee was poisonous? Yeah, it was a honey bee. Honeybee stings can cause painful reactions. Have you had an allergic reaction before? I think so. That's important information. If you've had an allergic reaction to a sting before, this one may be more serious. Have you started to feel any other symptoms yet? I have a swollen face and mouth. Swelling can be a sign of a serious allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. This is a life-threatening condition and requires immediate medical attention. Can you tell me your location? I can try to help you find a doctor nearby. And because he asked me about the doctor nearby, I told her, okay, and now I'm less swollen, like by half. That's good to hear. Keep an eye on it, though. If it starts to swell again or you feel anything else unusual, give me a call right away. In the meantime, how about we try some ice? Wrap some ice in a towel and hold it on the area for a few minutes. See if that helps. Then I asked her for over-the-counter medicine. You might consider trying an over-the-counter antihistamine tablet. They work to reduce inflammation and can help relieve some of your symptoms. Just follow the instructions on the package carefully and only take what's recommended for your age group. Always read labels to ensure that the product is appropriate for your needs. If you have any doubts or concerns, talk to a professional first. Never exceed the recommended dose and avoid using the medicine if it is past the expiration date. Okay, and as you can see, she recommends antihistamine and also to see a real doctor, okay? So I think the model is safe enough to tell you that you need to see a doctor every time. Like she said here, you need medical attention right away and that sort of thing. So, and again, I'm gonna provide a link here for the blog's model for the Medalpaca version, the quantized version for bit. 
and the block is Tom Jobbins. He provides like really cool models, really fast. As you can see, he got the snoozy one here, the Vicuña models, the metal packa, and just uh, talking about the open assistant. And I thank him profusely for all his work. He's a super cool guy. Come here and like his stuff. And thank you very much, as I said. And you can use all these models in the Ubabuga interface that I have, I have a video here that you can watch to install the interface if you are interested. You can get my characters here in my Impact Frames coffee page that they will be free again. And well, thank you for watching my videos and subscribe. So please do so. Thank you. Bye bye.